Hi, I'm Michael Gordon. Coming up next week, we have the labour market surveys for the June quarter. There'll be a lot of interest in these, as it feels like the tone of the discussion around the labour market has changed quite a lot in just the last few months. Unemployment's been one of the real surprises of the economy's response to the COVID shock. The early predictions of a sharp rise in unemployment proved to be well wide of the mark. Uh, and after that, neither the end of the wage subsidy scheme nor the loss of overseas tourists during the summer period proved to be a barrier to recovery. And the recent data suggests that we've seen jobs growth accelerate in just the last few months. We're expecting the unemployment rate to drop from 4.7 to 4.4% in the June quarter. That's not quite back to pre-COVID levels, but it is getting towards what we'd consider to be maximum sustainable employment. We're also expecting to see a lift in wage growth, although we're more cautious about trying to put a number on that. We've been hearing for some time from firms that they're having difficulty finding workers. That's almost become a constant in life. But what's changed is that there's more evidence that firms are now willing and able to do something about that. We're hearing more stories about big pay rises being offered to attract or retain workers and an increase in poaching. No doubt the border closure has been a part of this, as it means that some skills are in short supply. But it does seem like that constraint is now running up against a really strong demand for workers as well. If next week's data does turn out as strong as we expect, that will likely give the Reserve Bank more confidence that it's time to start withdrawing some of that stimulus by raising interest rates. Talk to you next week. Thank you.